Where do you say you are going to in that city? Because I know that you don't know anyone or have anybody in that city. Where are you going to? Mama, there is nothing you will say now that will change my mind. Hey, what? My mind is made up. I'm going to the city. I don't need to know someone in the city before I go there. I'm hmm. going. Nabiko, why not stay back? Let's wait for people to come back for Christmas. Let's see if we can see anyone that you follow back to the city. So that you will kill me? Kill it? Yes, now if I wait from now till Christmas, get for Sneaky Boom now. But no, 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 no. I am going to the city, Mama. There is nothing you say that will change my mind. Hey! Tell him Nai Nadi and um, uh, Nai Ude that they should come to the city. Their punishment is waiting for them. Only them we see ya. Greedy woman. Ega fuisia. Ah. Ega fuisia. If only I could. Ega fuisia. You're indeed a strong man. Thank you so much. Say hey, 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 hey. Wait. Um, um. May I know you, please? Austin. Okay, I'm Jane. Um, I really want to thank you so much for this. You don't know. You don't know what it means to me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um. Can I drop you off? Wherever, don't you have a destination? I'll just get my bag. Ladies first. No, it doesn't matter. It's my car. Just go inside. I'll just go through that way. Austin, hey. What are you doing? Why are you holding that bread like that? Is it like your meal? Well, that's what I can afford. Oh. Sorry about that. So where can I drop you? Anywhere. 
What do you mean anywhere? I mean, where can I drop you? Like I said, anywhere. You just pull over if you want. I asked a question. I mean, I... anywhere is nowhere. Okay, I... I don't know anyone here. As a matter of fact, I'm just... just coming from the village. I have nowhere in particular. I know no one here, but... I'll see how and where I can start life from. Okay. It's fine then. You're such a life saver. No, you did more. Honestly, I must commend you for that. Thank you so much for today. And, um, so where are you going to sleep tonight? I mean, considering the story you told me about yourself, you don't have a place at all. I would have, you know, suggested that you come with me to my house. I mean, our house. But my mother wouldn't let that happen. She's a very strict woman. I understand. But you know, a masquerade that comes out of the market, they must be ready to dance to impress the audience. I'm a man in the battlefront. Trust me, I'm aware of what is before me. So uh, however, I'll figure it out. I understand perfectly. But one of those days when people sleep under the breeze, in uncompleted buildings, you know, you can be mistaken for a hoodlum. I, I wouldn't want that to happen. We'll find a way out. Okay, don't worry yourself. I am going to take you to a friend's place where you're going to be putting up for now until we figure out what to do. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. No, you don't have to thank me. It's okay. This place is not so beautiful, but I want you to just manage it for now. It's what you call manage. I like it. It's, it's okay. Fine. Yes. Okay. Thank fine. you. No, it's okay. Thank you. All right. I have to get going now. Uh, but um, babe, you you told me you're a student. Mm -hmm. How did you get money to get this place for me? <laughs> Don't bother yourself about that. I always know how to get money from my mother. Oh, your mother. Yes, my mom. Ah, okay. Once again, thank you. You're welcome. Come here. Oh. Please, right there. Let's Come here. Bye.
Mama, I am, I am not worthy to live with you. I don't deserve to live with you. I just wish that my friend, your daughter, will forgive me. I don't get that. Did you quarrel with her or what? You may not understand, ma. Now, tell me what she did to you because I will not tolerate any nonsense from her. Is that because of your constant advice on how to be well of men? Tell me if that is it, I won't let you go. Is that why she's sending you away? Mama, it is a long story. I just want her forgiveness. May I take my leave, Mama? Greedy woman, Ega Fisia, Ega Fisia, Ifonya, Ega Fisia. In quest for riches, greediness and selfishness took over you. I do not want you now for full. Kedulu waga balogi. You choose to break my heart, my love. Why do you choose to break my trust, my friend? Good. No, no, I'm fine. So, no, I'm what is going on, sister? Has she eaten? No, she refused to eat. I've been trying to force her, but she refused. No. Jen, dear. Sorry. Sweetheart, please, you need to eat something. No, You've not taken anything since morning. I'm not hungry. That's what she's been saying. She has to eat something. I know you're not hungry, right? But you have to put something in your stomach to enable you to take your medication. Oh, sweetheart. Sweet love, give me that food. I know you're not hungry. Or you need to put something into your stomach to be able to take your medication. No. So, You should take your bath and rest. 
I will. I want to. Oh, I'll be fine. Don't worry. I'm okay. Where is mommy? Oh, your mom got an urgent call from her office. That was why she asked me to come to the hospital and help you home. Oh. Yeah. Thank God for mommy. I would have been a dead person by now. Poor oh, Jane. Why do you even decide to take your own life? You just decide to poison yourself all because of a man. Sister, what are you saying? I am the one that wears the shoe and I feel its fang. My dear, what would you have me do? A man I call my fiance and my best friend on his bed making love. How do you explain that? I mean, and so, Jane, and so, eh? By the way, where is that chum? I don't, I don't want to know. I don't even want to hear that name in my life again. I don't want to know. It's okay. It's a temptation and it could happen to anyone. But why me? Why me? What wrong have I done? Have I not been so faithful to him? Have I not loved and cared for him? Why would he do this to Jane, me? You have to calm down. You just got back from the hospital and you are not strong enough. I will never trust anybody in my life again. Mm -mm. Never will I. Never. Uh -uh. Please stop now. Stop all this. I want you to put all this behind you. In fact, let me get you a fruit juice to calm your nerves. Just hold on for me. I'm coming. Even this gate I opened for you now, eh? Is big enough for Auntie Jane to recommend my sack. Please go, I don't want her to sack me because. You have to open the gate now. Nick said, did she tell you anything? No, oh, she did not tell me anything, no, but she told me that she don't want to see me to open this gate anytime when I see you here. Hmm? So Oga, okay, you can just go. I don't want her to sack me because. world you are nothing without money if you had money she wouldn't behave that way can you say anything like that Ken? it's my fault i mean i i cost it all cost it what did you do because she caught you sleeping with her best friend and so what is that not enough ah come on it's because you don't have money if you have money you can sleep with 10 girls including her mother and she wouldn't mind as far as you call the shots <laughs> i love her i love her i love her what do i do to win her back how do i get her back okay you know what can you introduce me to her at least let me let me talk to her uh, on your behalf no now that everything is still hot I'm not sure she will listen to anybody. Ah. Well, I think you just need to try your best. 
try all your possible best. Even though it will take you going back to your old trade. Just give it your best to get her back. Again? Of course. You need to get money. If you have money, she will come back to you. I didn't come in my car. I packed it for now. Hey, how is my sister doing? She's, she's okay, but still stubborn as usual. You know your sis. That's good for a good mom that wants the best for her daughter. Not when it's too much. Enough. Let's not talk about that. Okay? My friend John, I, I've told you a lot about him. Hi, John. I, I think I've met him here before. Nice to meet you. Uh, same here. You're welcome. Thank you. And um, this is his friend, Ken. Okay, hi yes. Ken. Hi. I'm Jane. Yeah, okay. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. You're not looking bad at all. Thank you. Sorry, what do you do? Um, um I, I just graduated. So yeah, though I'm helping my mom out in her business. Oh, that's splendid. It's much better, unlike other girls who just don't do anything, you know? No, no, I'm not like that. Nice I've always you. wished to be independent, so... <laughs> oh, thank you. <clears throat> so, sis, uh -huh. you know that I am famished? Right? Jane. Get out of my house. Make sure get out of my get out of my house right now. Get out! Stupid. Hey, when he leaves, shut the gate. What are you doing here? I came to see how my beautiful girl is doing. Get out. Get out this minute or I am going to call the security on you. And I mean it! And tell them what? Tell them that your lover who makes you scream like a child in bed is a criminal? You're not doing this. What will you tell them? That a man whose friend facilitated your You work... know what you did. You made my best friend hate me. Austin, I told you. When you were making this up, I told you to stop. I begged you, but you wouldn't listen. When did you ask me to stop? Remember you told me that no man has ever loved you the way I did. 
You said that to me. You never asked me to stop. You soaked my pillow with tears of love. Stop! Stop it, Austin! Stop! You can't stop. I need you to listen and listen real good. Let me go straight to the point why I'm here. I need to reconcile with Jane. And you are going to help me to achieve that. Once again, you look beautiful. Greedy woman. Ega fuisia. Ega fuisia. Ifonya. Ega fuisia. Believe me when I say something so special. And, you know, this few weeks, I can categorically say that you're a gentleman. I give, I give that to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Can you promise me one thing? Okay. Go ahead, ask what, what you want me to promise you. That I will look no further. Still waiting. Well, Ken, the truth is that it it won't be as easy as shelling peas. Ah! Sorry, so sorry about that. It's okay. Ouch! It's okay. So I think I have I have the dress in the car. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. See this girl. She's everything a man needs okay. in a woman. Can, 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 please. I've told you before, I don't want to talk about it. About what? About women. Oh, come on. Not when it's about a proposed wife. Come on. You proposed to her already? Yes. I did. <sighs> Congratulations. So, who is she? Oh my God. She's everything a man needs in a woman. Wow. You know? Her cousin is a fiance to my friend. And since I met this girl, it's like a dream come true. She's so beautiful, so kind, you know, so curvy. Everything you can think about in a woman. Congratulations, my brother. Or well, you want to know the truth? I don't want to talk about this anymore. Oh, come on. Please, you need to do me a favor. Please. Now, what is it? You will need to go with me to her family house next week with my uncle. I 
I need you to be there. Next week. So, Jen, tell me, how are you getting on with John? Very well. He's almost perfect. He's loving, caring, adoring. As a matter of fact, it's everything good. <laughs> Just like my job. Beds of decent feather. Mm. <laughs> but I never believed that after Austin, I would ever fall in love again. Never. Why not? It's always like that. When one door closes, another opens. But some doors are better left unclosed. I think you have a point there. Guess what? What? <laughs> he has finally proposed. It's a lie. Yes, it is. Ah, congratulations, baby. So fast. But I'm having a problem here. What? I don't think my mom will allow me to get married to him. But Ken is an engineer. And he's not doing bad. I think his future is bright. A radio mechanic. You know your sister. She won't let me get married to him. That has always been my problem. And I love this man. I truly love him. This one that you people march into my compound like soldiers today. Hope all is well. Ah, all is well. Uh, Everything is fine. Yes, yes, sir. Hope I'm safe. Uh -huh. Am I safe? You're very safe, ma'am. There's yeah. no problem. We actually. Because we've not heard from our friend, your son, Austin. Uh, and we're worried, so we decided to come and ask you if you've heard from him. <laughs> my children, I myself, I have not even heard from him since then. Hmm? But. Someone told me that he sees him in the city. Eh? Hmm. He sees Austin in the city? Which part of the city? Is he Lagos or Abuja? Did the person give you his number? Is he not your friend? Eh? Are you, both of you are supposed to know more better about him than me. Eh, Mama, we, we know. But because we've not heard from him, so we decided to come and ask you, Ma. Uh, you know what? When next I see the man, I will tell him, I will ask him or I will direct him to you people. Mom. For him to give you people the number. That is just the best. Yeah. That's his number, eh? Yes, yes. Very important. Yes. Udo. Udo. That is okay. That is very important. That is his number. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, Whenever I pause the game, please, oh, okay? Pause you. Just let us know. Tell us. According to what you said, a radio mechanic can never be my son in law. Let him look for his class. Mommy. What exactly are you saying? You don't know this guy in question. You don't. You need to spend time with him, then you understand what I'm talking about. Mommy, this guy has prospect. That's exactly what you said about that wretched boy some time ago. Have you forgotten? Mommy, please don't refer to Nandi as, as a wretched person. Don't do that. Please. I would have married him only that I, I respected your wish. But now, Mommy, I've found someone else. Someone I truly love. You refer to him as being poor? Mommy, this guy is okay. He's comfortable. I've been to his apartment. He's okay. What? You've been to his house already? Now tell me. Did he touch you? Oh, come off it, Mommy. Don't be like that. Oh. Well, 
It doesn't rest on me until I see things with my own eyes. Mommy, I am certain. I am the one fully involved here, not you. I am telling you the truth. I love this man in question. He cares about me. He adores me, mommy. I mean, what else can a girl ask for? A lot. A lot, sweetheart. A capital. A-L-O-T. In quest for riches, greediness and selfishness took over you. Welcome. Not too fast. How do you mean? Stay away from me. That's what I mean. I don't even know the devil or the demon that made it possible that our paths ever crossed in this life. Oh. Even when you're angry, you're still beautiful. <laughs> I remember how we met. And I also know it's a blessing in disguise. So unfortunate that the devil used the wrong person. Oh my God. Jane? Yes. I love her, but trust me, sweetheart, I love you more. Did you just say that? Yes. You're a heartless beast. What we gave to her, she didn't deserve it. It wasn't meant for her. What did this done? What did this done? I came here for two things. First, stay clear, away, far from me. Second, you have to find a way to reconcile me back with Jane. She is my friend and what I did to her was terrible. She didn't deserve that insult. I know. It's okay. It's not enough reason for you to cry yourself to blindness. <laughs> Come sit. Come on, come sit. Huh? I'm sorry, dog. Come on. <laughs> we'll look for a way out. The only way is to go to her house because she's not picking her calls. That's the only way. I don't think going to her house is a good idea. Why? We're just going there to, you know, reconcile I'm with not her. Going to her house. Why? Why? Experience. I am talking out of experience. Walk away if you don't love me. I know how you feel. But I think the right thing to do now is plan to get married. Jane is gone. She's gone for good. <laughs> if it is the will of God for us to settle well, we shall will. Over my dead body. Walk away. You consider me, Austin, evil. Same person that has loved you. The same Austin that abandoned Jane for you. The same Austin that has made you secure a job. Are you blackmailing me now? No. <laughs> 
I am loving you even more. I love you. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. you called me out here hopefully as well because I have been trying to talk to you since you came back from the city for me to know how you are faring in the city and know the kind of job you are doing but all to no avail mama all these things you're saying are not important so what is important that we are supposed to discuss here now <clears throat> First of all, I'll be going back to the city tomorrow morning. Okay, okay. That's good. Secondly, I wish to inform you that I'll be getting married very soon. Who? Oh, is your... Hey! Chide Kotit, that's a very good news. I'm so happy to hear this. Eh? I can't wait to see the woman in question. So when are you bringing her for me to see her? As soon as we conclude everything, I'll bring her for you to see. Is your... Hey! I know that my God will not allow my enemies to mock me. Yes! Amen. Amen. Mama, the most important one. Amen. Okay. <laughs> I want to sell a plot of land from the pieces of land my father left behind. Uh, wait. Uh, you mean. You want to sell your father's land? No, I want to rent it. I said I want to sell my father's land. Okay, I dream. All the things I listed out now, it's not money they used to do it. Huh? Hey, you know? hey, what is wrong here? What is wrong with you? So, because you want to marry, that's why you want to sell your father's land. Okay? I thought you have a very good talk for us to discuss here. I don't know that is it. This verbal talk. Mama, this is not what I've called you. I've not called you to exchange words with you. I want to sell a plot, just one plot. It's my father's land. Greedy woman. So, how may I be of any help? Um, I am Ironsi. With me here is my cousin Ken. And we're here for a mission. What mission?
<clears throat> Why would you buy my drink? My cousin here saw a beautiful flower in your compound. And that's why we're here. Do you mind going straight to the point? Well, it's actually your daughter we're talking about, madam. I'm lost. Talking about her on what? My cousin Ken wants to marry your daughter Jane. Young man, yes. what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an engineer. Yes. Engineer on what? A radio mechanic, to be precise. That is wrong. I am not a man who gives his daughter out in marriage. It's too, madam. Since her father is late, I think we should start with you first, before meeting the family members and the elders. I see. If you need more drinks and a better one, you can take from my bar. Or I can give you people money to buy as many as you want. I don't want to see you around this house when I go in there and come out. Hey! Who are you leaving this for? Come on, pick it! In quest for riches, greediness and selfishness took over you. Idunya wagi na fufu, kedulu waga balugi. You detest the poor, not believing they can rise tomorrow. Oboro kwa no onye di anata Dadi ki dani echi Chuku ne pulelu Ifuli fi melo mwagi Iga fisiya Anyu kwa joka Iga fisiya Value everyone is seen around you God of please Iga fisiya Greediness is bad. It is deadly. Make any figure. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not finding this whole thing funny. After everything I, I told my mother, I pleaded with her so much. She still sent Ken out of her house. For what? Why would any parents not want Ken for a son-in-law? That's the problem! It beats me! It beats my imagination! I mean, sometimes I wonder if my mother really wants me to get married. No, you don't have to talk like that. Why, why can't I talk like that? She is my sister. I think I have to talk sense into her. What, what's all this? But, Jane, I think you are partly the problem. How am I the problem? Yes, you are too obedient to your mom. What has come over you? What are you talking about, Mom? You've changed. For over a year now, you are more or less a stranger in this house. Completely withdrawn. I think I need to move you out of the country. That's not necessary, Mom. Why? Because I have decided to accept your proposal. My proposal? Yes, what yes. proposal? Your proposal on to share my body with you. I don't get that. But what are you talking about? 
Why are you pretending as if you don't know what you've always wanted? I have decided to become your lesbian. Are you, are you all right? What has come over you? I'm perfectly fine, Mom. I am telling you what you and I want. Especially you. No! Then allow me to make my choice. Mom, stop this. Seriously, I am ready to get married to you. And I cannot wait for us to start doing it already. You and I. 